Hi, in this video, I will show you how I made a frame for my glass table. This is not a tutorial, so I just wanted to share it so that uh, you can learn a thing or two and uh, hopefully you not make the same mistakes I did. I first came up with a design that kind of seemed complicated and so I had to kind of uh, simplify it to make it easier to... So eventually, after not liking the first design because of its complexity, I decided uh, to redesign it. I used uh, Fusion 360. You can use any program really, but I prefer Fusion 360 because I started with AutoCAD and so the transition from one Autodesk software to another was uh, pretty easy. Designing it using CAD was not necessary, but I just kind of uh, thought it was cool and uh, I wanted to really visualize it and see how the end product would look like before wasting so much time. I don't think I wasted time because it's only after I designed it and rendered it that I really decided to simplify it. Just visualizing it also motivated me to making it. I made a few alterations in the way but this was the final design that I came up with. Since I don't own a welding machine, if I ever decide to do this again I will probably not raise it because one is that brazing is a very, is a very complicated uh, process. As simple as it seems, it's in, it becomes complicated once you start working on larger pieces, such as uh, this 2x2 uh, two two square tubing. As you can see from the video, I used mag gas because that's the one that burns hardest. Burns harder than butane and uh, propane. It took me a while to figure it out to come up with a good technique that worked but even after that within a short time I realized the limitations I had as you may be aware aluminum is a very good heat sink and so the moment you take that flame off the piece the heat spreads to the rest of the piece and to successfully braise something that's really strong you need to heat up the whole piece so even if I had the flame on that point of contact on that joint the heat was quickly spreading so by the time the brazing rod was melting the whole piece was equally hot and uh, that's one challenge I faced the other challenge I faced was that since the whole piece is real hot and the piece is very large that meant that it took it a longer time to cool down the brazing rod would melt and stay in molten state for a much longer time because it took the whole big piece much longer to cool down Aluminum oxidizes very fast, so you really have to spend a good amount of time cleaning the pieces. Uh, from the video you can see I used uh, a steel brush. Then I got a steel bead for my drill and that's what I used to clean it. This sped up the process greatly because I had to be doing this for each piece and while heating the piece I also had to clean it a couple of times. In the process of making this table, I lost a couple of aluminum clamps because they melted in the process since the pieces had to stay hard for a much longer time. The last challenge I faced when making this was brazing the two last pieces together because like I said earlier the aluminum would stay in molten state for a longer time so I needed to keep the pieces in place while the aluminum cooled down. The last piece was most challenging because like I mentioned earlier the aluminum brazing rod stays in modern state for a much longer time because of the work pieces being so large. So the idea I came up with was to hang the piece to the garage ceiling and uh, very little weight was placed on the, actual, on the actual pieces that were being joined together. And so after successfully brazing and letting it cool down, initially I just wanted to polish it and brush it but I realized that the chairs on the dining table were also matte black and painting it was a perfect idea because if you look at it right now the finish is very good and you can't even tell that I made it myself. As you can see from this video, brazing is a very bad method to use to weld such large parts together. I didn't really have a choice and I was up for the challenge and since I had never done brazing before in the future I will not waste my time brazing such a large piece so I'm currently saving up 
to get a MIG or TIG welder so that I learn a new skill and also to make my job for welding easier. In total, I probably spent about, I think I would say two months on the whole project, partly because I had a hard time brazing the first half of the table and I really got frustrated and so I set it aside. And then right after I started again, I ran out of map gas and I felt lazy to pick up something new. So it sat for another week until I replaced the map gas canister and finished it up. The last parts were all done pretty quick. The moment I was done world, uh, brazing it, I immediately sanded it, put some body filler on certain rough spots and sanded it some more. Eventually I went down to 800 great uh, wet papers and sanded it even finer and smoother. And uh, after sanding it, I got some soft standoffs from Home Depot to place on top of the frame so that the table does not get into contact with the, with the metal frame. I also had to 3D print the caps for the feet. That way they would not be scraping against the carpet and to make it easier to move it. And also I thought it looked cooler with the capped ends. To do this, I looked for a design on Thingiverse. I was going to design my own but then I found that somebody had already made it so I didn't want to reinvent the wheel and it was free for personal use. I'll put the link down below. So I know some of you will be putting down in the comments saying all the mistakes that I made. Yeah, I did realize I made a couple of mistakes but I was learning and uh, that's what learning is all about. Alright, hopefully I'll come up with another idea and uh, share the video and hopefully I can uh, come up with a better video as well this time I was using my Android phone and iPhone interchangeably so the video quality might not be very consistent but I think it's decent enough to share in conclusion never brace such a large piece together